Hey guys, what's up? So in my last video, I did a comparison between the Galaxy S7 and the Nexus 6P. Now it's no secret that I'm a Nexus lover. People are commenting saying that a lot of tech YouTubers are biased towards Nexus devices. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five things that I hate about my Nexus 6P. I normally keep my display brightness turned down all the way one to conserve battery life two because I'm mostly indoors however when I know I'm gonna be outside I set my display to adaptive brightness now this doesn't always work especially in direct sunlight it's always such a pain when I'm trying to answer a phone call but I can't see the display I mostly have to fiddle around with it for a while and wait until the brightness gets turned up all the way and there are other times when I'm in my room, just laying down, watching TV maybe, not really moving around much, and the display goes really low or really bright for no reason. Now I really love how loud the speakers get on my 6P, and I boast about them whichever chance I get. But for me and my device, it seems like the speakers only gives me two options, either really low or really loud. There really is no in-between. If I turn the volume down, say about 50%, I can barely hear anything. But I'm thinking it's a software issue and this could be fixed with a few tweaking. Now when I just got the phone, the fingerprint would wow me with how fast it unlocked the device. No, not so much. I've noticed this, especially when it's charging, it would take a while to register my fingerprint, sometimes not at all. I'd have to either hold it there for a while or do a double take. Now the next pet peeve that I have with the Nexus 6P doesn't have anything to do with a feature that it already has, but instead a feature that is lacking. This has to do with the fact that the 6P doesn't have any manual control for the camera. Having such an awesome camera found on the Nexus 6P is really great, but not being able to fully utilize this by having manual controls is a real bummer. Especially since it's not a new feature, it's been out on older phones, like for example last year's LG G4. Now the last thing that I hate about my Nexus 6P is kind of small and I may be nitpicking but it really grinds my gears. And this is the fact that the phone has no restart option. We've all been there before. You just wanna restart your phone for whatever little reason. You click the power button, hit restart. But on the Nexus 6P, there is no restart option. You have to power it down and then turn it back on. Now it may not be a big deal for some, but for me it's a real pain because sometimes I forgot that I turned it off and I'm waiting for a message and I look, my phone's off because it didn't restart. Now with all that said, I still love this bad boy. And Android N has been really good to me. Something I can't say for other non-Nexus devices. So that's been it for me guys. If you have any pet peeves about your phone, whatever phone it may be, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to smash that subscribe button. As always, my name is Dakoya and I'll catch you in the next one. Zine.